And what I think coaching did practically for me uh, was give me the tools to, first of all, handle myself, my stress, my emotions, my thoughts, uh, to discover that I have inside everything I need to do everything I want. That's why since April of 2020, we moved from the capital city to a small town. We opened up a new business. We had another baby um, and are now looking to move to a bigger home and even um, change careers. Uh, during coaching sessions with Nikki, uh, he gave me the right tools to plan for change to plan for the unpredictable, um, mindfulness and meditation tools to help me go through difficult periods and there have been some in the last year and a half, uh, but in a healthy way, in a positive way, in a constructive way. And I think the most recent and most important one was helping me realize I will dedicate myself fully to a creative career. So I think it's the first time in my life where I have a list of goals that are not a wish list. They're a list of goals with a plan attached to them um, and tools and a budget um, for 2020. That's why I'm really looking forward to this next year and the next 12 months of coaching, really capitalizing on what I, all the work I've been doing so far and starting to build consistently and diligently, day in, day out, uh, on this amazing foundation that Nikki helped me lay for myself. Looking forward to an amazing year of um, having someone to help me get out of my head and put in practice all my dreams and my goals and just create the life that I imagined. Just to go back to the start, how much coaching is too much coaching? Well, actually, you can never have enough, I guess.